Romans chapter four, verse 16. Uh, God's, got, God's got Abraham. He's got a situation. He's got to send his son to earth. Adam sinned. He sinned. They got fired from their job, a victim of the house. Kids start killing each other. Now, God's watching from heaven. I'm sure he's sitting there, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Look at him, son, and shot his foot off. I know he's going to go stupid on me. Look at him. He's gone stupid on me. I got to send you down there to fix it. You got to go. You're the only one I got. But you can't go like you. I got to shove in that mother's womb. Now I'm going to say she's going to shove you out. You're going to spend 30 years just figuring out who you are. You're finally going to meet this camel hair buggy and babby. She's going to dunk you out of the water. When you come up, I'll stick my finger in heaven. Says, You're it. And there's a whole chapter of Matthew written about it, and you can read it in the Bible. It's a great story. Before that happened, though, God said, I've got to find a man on earth. I need to give my son to earth, but I can't. It's not legal. I cannot go to earth because only humans. I gave the earth to humans. A human gave it away. Satan is now the legal God of this planet. 2 Corinthians 4, 4. John 10, 10, he steals, kills, and destroys. That's why prisons are full, hospitals are full, orphanages are full. People say, where's God doing? He's not in charge. The devil's in charge. He gave it to Adam. Adam gave it to the devil. Satan is the legal God of this planet. He's got a temporary lease, but his lease is running out. You and I are behind enemy lines. We're special forces. Ephesians 6, we got the armor of God. What are you looking for? We're looking for hell. We're in a hell whipping mode. Gonna feed hungry people and give water to thirsty people and visit people in prison. Help sick people, help orphans, help widows. We're in a hell fixing mode. It's a great time to be alive, guys. Anyhow, he said, I got a problem. I got to find someone on that planet that'll give me their son. I can't give my son to somebody on earth. I just need one man. I need one earth person on earth to give me their son. So he found this old man and said, hey, that's him. Who? I'm sure the angel asked him, who? That old boy right there, that 100-year-old man. Well, Lord, he didn't have any kids. He couldn't have kids when he could have them. He can't have them now because he's too old. He doesn't work anymore. It's before Viagra and Cialis. I'm not being crude. I'm just telling you the truth. So the angel shows up. Abraham's 100. And the angel shows up. Hey, old man, come out here. So Abraham walks out. And he says, uh, look up at the stars. Can you count them? Probably not. That's how many kids you're going to have. And Abraham said, all right. That's what he said. Okay. <laughs> well, Sarah, Sarah means contentious woman. She's not Sarah yet. She's eavesdropping in the tent. And she heard the conversation. And she bust out laughing. She said in the King James, shall I have pleasure seeing my Lord being old also? It means what it says. <laughs> well, the angel heard her and said, I heard what you said. And she said, I didn't say anything. No, you lied. And said, you're going to have a baby. I couldn't have a baby when I could have a baby. I'm not going to have now. No, you're going to have a baby. So I think three or four days later, Abraham woke up. <laughs> Sarah, I'm back. <laughs> and so several weeks went by and Sarah can't get pregnant. So they thought Abraham's the problem. She said, I wasn't the problem. You're the one. You're the problem. And so she said, well, take my hand made, you know, and, and have my baby with her. And that's why we have high oil prices today. Anyhow, the Bible says that in Romans that Abraham believed God against all hope. He said, I believe God said it and I believe it. God's always casting vision. He's trying to find somebody that will believe him.